What's up, YouTube? It's a lovely day. My after dinner smoke in the backyard. Nice 70 degree weather out here. It was almost 100 a day. It was terrible. Terrible, I tell you. It's terrible. Yeah, but this is nice. I mean, this is living. You know what I mean? Fill your belly. Come out here. Smoke a little pallet killer. <laughs> it is. I'm telling you. This, this, I love it. Who don't like Latakia? I'm telling you. This a little pirate cake. I mean, this stuff. I never thought about eating any uh, burnt logs after a campfire, but I sure smoke it. <laughs> it's lovely. But yes, as I was saying, it's a lovely day out here. Birds are singing, crapping all over the place, staining the patio. Those freaking birds, I'm telling you. Yeah, everybody likes to hear them until they come and crap all over the place. Birds, I'll tell you. But anyway, the reason why uh, I started this video today, I want to show you this um, this pipe. And I just wanted to ask everybody, what exactly is inside this little thing? And what it's actually called? Why is it there? And what is it for? I have no idea. I really didn't do a lot of research. I just... I bought it, it was my first pipe. I was all excited about it. I got it this uh, pipe and tobacco shop right down the street. They don't have a lot of pipes, it's more cigars and high-end tobacco stuff or rolling your own smokes and stuff like that. And I told the dude, I was like, hey man, I work construction, you know, I just quit smoking, I just want to pop, pop, and then do my, do my work, you know? He's like, oh, this one would be great for you. This would be great. Oh, you'll love it, you'll love it. Oh, all right. I don't know about loving it, but this is the one I got tongue bite with. But anyway, that's a different story. This is actually called a Greyhound, Green, Greyhound Imported Briar. I don't know what that means. I don't even know what Greyhound means. I rode on the bus once. It was a smooth ride, but this is not a smooth ride. But it has this little thing in here. I thought it was called a stinger. I really don't know what this thing is. I don't know what it's for. It gets clogged up all the time. I don't know, I, I would appreciate if you guys left some comments down in the comment section for me to say, what is this piece of crap? I mean, I didn't know if it was like a secret weapon it was from Spy Magazine. I have no idea. I, ring, ring, ring. I mean, what is this? What does it do? I can barely even draw off of this thing. Especially when I had, um, uh, what was that stuff? It was some aromatic uh, Z50, whatever. Oh, it, was, it was so wet, I couldn't even smoke out of that darn thing. I, but, hey, I digress. But I'm smoking on uh, today is my, I call it, I don't know, do you guys name name your pipes? I don't know, I'm weird, I name everything. I call it, old girl is the grill. And this, I call this the traveler. You know, actually it's one of them other ones, that the Italy Capriri, pair, I don't know, little house on a prairie, I don't know, but it's nice. It's got a nice little color, you know what I mean? I don't know if you can see it, but anywho. Oh, that's all I got. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just about to fire it up. Now I wanted to talk about my little journey of uh, smoking pipes. You know, like I said, I just started in January. It's been seven months since I smoked a cigarette and. For the first couple months, uh, I smoked with that little piece of crap and some aromatics, and everybody's like, "Oh my God, it's who's making brownies? Who's making brownies?" This is my pipe. You know, well, who's making brownies? That's what I want to know. But um, I said, you know, I just wanted to try other blends of tobacco. I thought when I started that I was the only one in the world that smoked a pipe because I asked people, nobody even heard of pipe tobacco or smoking pipes unless you're you know, an old sailor from back in the day, you know. Around here, nobody smokes a pipe. Everybody smokes cigars and cigarettes and chewing tobacco and stuff like that. I'm over that. And uh, so I'm looking on the internet and I'm watching all your videos, that, you know, all your great content you guys have. I love it. And 
I found out, I came to the consumption that uh, Dunhill was one of the best products out there. I said, you know what, I'm just going to try some of this Dunhill, you know, it's, if, if I'm going to try to take this seriously and smoke a pipe, at least I want to try the best. So I ordered the uh, Dunhill's nightcap, aperitif, aperitif, I forget how you pronounce it. Just the red label one, orange, whatever, and the early morning pipe. And I was all excited, you know, and get my box, you know, rip it open like some savage. I'm like, yeah, I got the tins, you know. Love the tins, by the way. These, these things, I, they're okay, but I prefer the tins, you know. I just like the clicking, the clacking, and, you know, it's just nice. So, <laughs> I'll make dinner after dinner. I'm like, ah, all right, I'm going to open this bad boy up and smoke a pipe, you know, and just enjoy it, see what it's all about. I'm all excited, you know what I mean? I feel like a little kid in a candy store. So I go to go to open the thing. Put the pee in my arms. Got a little hand thing out. I'm like, God, am I a sissy or what? And I'm twisted. I'm like, you know, this is just not the this is not meant to be. Not not for this. It, this is terrible. I mean I did not know it was a rocket scientist. I thought well, I was just smoking a pipe, buying some tobacco. You know, there was no instructions how to open this. Uh, like I said, I was new. I didn't. I had no idea what to do. And of course, I had to look it up on YouTube how to open up a tin. Yeah. Yep. Just a little sweep. Open it up. I was all excited. I mean, I was like, yeah. Pull back the cover, and it was a little yellow. I was like, yeah, cool. Open up the early morning pipe. Went. <gasps> uh, 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 what the heck is in there? I said, oh, hell no. I put it, screwed the top back on, put it down there. I said, there is no way. Nope, nope, <laughs> not today. No. <clears throat> I'm just sitting there, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, why does it smell so funky? I, you know, I'm used to the aromatics. You know, you open up, I'm like, ooh, was that honey? You know. Boo, some kind of booze, you know, I mean, bourbon, rum, or whatever. And I'm a little disappointed, so I go over there again. I open it up the smell, and I'm, like, I'm asking everybody, I'm like, hey, does this smell weird to you? And like, oh man, what is that? What? Hey, dog poop? You know, what? That, what is that? I said, it's freaking tobacco. They're like, it's terrible. I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking about smoking it. And they're like, what? I said, yeah, I said the same thing. I said, you know what? I paid for it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna. You gotta try it. You know what I mean? I had, what was it? Ten, like almost thirty dollars with shipping for all them cans. Dang grand was smoke it. So after a couple drinks, you know, I'm like looking at the early morning pipe and just debating to throw it in the trash or smoke it. Like, That's it. That's it. I'm gonna smoke it. And I packed my bowl. Took a couple puffs. Gosh. I don't like it. Nope, don't like it. And I packed it. You know, nah, nah, don't like it. It's weird. It's weird. And, you know, knocked it out. So, ah, I just pack another one. So maybe I didn't pack it right or something. I don't know. Maybe the air wasn't right going through the tobacco. I don't know. Maybe the sun didn't set right. I have no idea. It was so weird. So I said, relax. Try it again. Take time, try to enjoy it. You bought it, enjoy it. Well, I packed another one up, lit it. <laughs> nope, still didn't like it. I said, this is crap. It's all crap. So mad, so disappointed. Didn't know what to do about it. I said, I'm just, I'm just not gonna smoke tobacco anymore. I'm just, probably just go back to cigarettes. Just, I just needed something to fill the the habit form from a cigarette. <clears throat> I was all disappointed. So then, next day, come home from work, I work outside in construction, come in and sit in the air conditioning. And, ah, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get one more try. I packed it up again, lit it, puffing on it. I, 
don't taste bad. I'm like, what is it? You know, and I, and, um, I did a little, uh, I think I should call it retro hair. I blew it out my nose. And there was like a little sting, pepperish thing that happened there. I call it a little bit of magic. That's what I call it. I mean, that burn was like hot sauce, like from a hot wing that I, I love hot. Wait, I love hot sauce. It's just like that pepper, like you just, like you're almost about to sneeze or something. I was like, what is that? That's amazing. I love it. Ah, I just go in and out of the nose. Just loved it. Oh, it turned into a freak. All right, I really didn't. I just enjoyed the tobacco. It was very nice. And uh, <laughs> so I watched a couple of videos on the early morning pipe, and people loved it. And I'm like, I love it too. How weird is that? That's when I actually enjoyed the hobby. I bought the tin. Then later on, I bought a pound of that. I bought the night pound of nightcap. I'm smoking the crap out of it. But I did watch a little little bit of everybody else how scary nightcap was and the nicotine and I was like cool that sounds hot <laughs> I did but I said oh I wanted, I wanted to try it you know what I mean it, just that the smoky taste I love it. it it was just something so cool and new and it just blew my mind that tobacco tasted like that and there's so many different varieties, different cuts and blends and stuff like that. And so I kind of got hooked on the Latakia blends. I, I love them. I love that smokiness. And I don't know, it, I guess it's called a Late Virginia, the early morning pipe. You know, I, I do like that because I like to drink coffee in the mornings, you know, and smoke a pipe That's, or a cigarette. I mean, you know, everybody usually smoke cigarettes and coffee, cigarettes and coffee. I like to pipe in the coffee now. You know what I mean? I'm a new man. You know what I mean? And, uh, it, it was very enjoyable. I loved it. So now I'm onto this um, different kick now since I, you know, I started buying new, new tobacco, new cuts, new pipes. I can't afford all these nice pipes. I mean, these, this one and the lava one I had on last time, they're like 40, 50 bucks. That's more than enough because at the tobacco shop, I'm looking, I'm like, dude, them things are like, three four hundred bucks so, that's a, that's a little rich for me you know maybe someday you know maybe maybe I don't know and so I just get them Meerschaum uh, Missouri Meerschaum pipes I, I don't mind them in the regular corn cob I just buy them I don't care I've got five of them a couple of these little things smoke them all smokes the same right you know what I mean but uh I just want to say I I love everybody's video that was out there that, you know, showed me how to enjoy the hobby and get to listen to everybody talk about their new, you know, adventures, you know, like their, was it, uh, jackknife plugs, you know what I mean, and the ropes. I don't know about the ropes. I don't know. It looks like a bag of dog poop to me. I don't know. I will try it because it does... Well, it's a part of the hobby, right? You know what I mean? You gotta try anything once, you know? Like I said, I, I was scared at first to open a tin and smell hay. Now, I'm like, hey, I love it! <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to do this little video and, and tell my story. My, my first video I had, that was a... That was an oops. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. Uh, it just went right to live. I, I don't know. All right, I was pretty drunk, all right? Forgive me. Wait, never happened to you? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so next week, or later on this week, I'm going to try to do something a little different. I'm going to try to smoke and smoke. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm going to smoke the jackknife plug. I finally got it. I want to, you know... It says you got to use a knife to cut it. Who would ever have thought you need enough to smoke tobacco? I love it. You know, but anyway. I'm going to try I'll do a little review on that. What I think about the jackknife plug. Show you my dull blade that I cut it with. Half butter knife, half Swiss Army knife, I guess. And I'm going to brine uh, my, my turkeys, chickens. What, I don't know what it is. I think they're chickens. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to smoke some chickens. Show you what kind of wood I use. How to brine them. I mean, these things are amazing. E 
No. Amazing. <laughs> I love it. But thanks for uh, chiming in on your comments. I, I really appreciate it, you know. And if you have a weird pipe story or you want to tell me something stupid, I'll read it. I like to read. You know what I mean? Except books. <laughs> you read books. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> All right. Be good, America.